Welcome back to the Mousycast channel. And today, as promised, we are continuing Spectrum Series Season 3. And today I'm bringing you one of the... My, my most favorite people in CSO. It is going to be our Red Zerg player in the bottom right side. It is Karetapir. And his opponent spawning in the top left side as our Blue Terran. Uh, the other part of this replay today, it is going to be Surin. Well, I hope I pronounced this correctly, so... Double O-double E means uh, Surin uh, is going to be the pronunciation in my mind. And once again, we have uh, quite an interesting... Ooh, Gastric, okay. Quite an interesting opener on the side of Karetapir. We had a... Was this a 14... I want to say it was a 14 hatch, then Gastric, and I suppose it's going to be a pool. Okay, I see the drone. Uh... Oh, never mind. It's a drone scout. And we have a barracks on the low ground, uh, which means it's going to be a really, really interesting uh, opener. I suppose it's going to be a second Rax and the Reaper at some point because it's double gas. So I'm not exactly sure what this is. Uh, it can still fit like... Can you fit? No, you cannot fit the add-on here. It's quite odd. Uh, not gonna lie. Maybe it's gonna be another barracks. Is it? Never mind, it's gonna be a tech lab opener. Ghost Academy! Alright! Let's go! We're gaming, boys! Okay, uh... <laughs> I didn't expect that one, to be honest. Um, out of everything, this was the one thing that I haven't expected. Now, Kuretapir is going to pull up the, the second Overlord, actually, and that's not going to be in time. Um, the Ghost Academy will be long done before uh, anything happens, and supposedly we're going to see a uh, Cloak as well, I guess. First of all, you need 125 uh, gas for that Ghost. And not sure about the uh, Cloak, actually, but there should be enough money for this, right? Um, I suppose. But I'm not an expert, of course. So, what do we have here? We have a factory in production on top of the ramp. So, quite interesting opener on the Terran side. Uh, on the other side, Kurtapir is going into a second gas. Do we have speed? No speed yet. So, I'm not exactly sure what we are going to see here. Uh, though Kurtapir has only 140 gas. So, it could be that he forgot. Um, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what what are you insinuating, Mousy? Like, are, are you saying your your teammate is dumb or something? No, no, no. It, it's not that. Nobody talks about that. Okay, quite interesting. Uh, Kurt Appear is going to see this and is like, um, I am not sure what's happening. But actually, this build looks uh, really, really solid, honestly. Like, sniping overlords? Count me in on that one. We have a, a ghost at home. Remember that ghosts are, are quite tanky. They have decent DPS and with cloak they are quite powerful. Uh, I wouldn't mind if Kuretapir would just... Sees, sees the ghost academy producing, so... Uh, technically it could be nuke as well. But let's see what the case is. Uh, I, I'd go for... No, you know what? I, I'm stupid. I, I would definitely assume nuke. <laughs> I'd assume nuke uh, every day of the week. Honestly, maybe because I, I was traumatized at some point. Um, but we don't talk about it. Now, there's a massive supply block on the side of uh, Serene. Or was. Actually, uh, Surin, sorry. Uh, and we have mass ghosts. Okay. Mass ghosts and mines. Is this your thermal? Now, I'm not sure what this is exactly. No, actually, probably not your thermal. But... Uh, yeah, this build is not exactly efficient. Uh, we have a second base and we have gases being uh, put down on the natural as well. I mean, obviously you need a lot of gas with this. Wait, is there a... Is that a gap? Oh no, don't tell me that's a gap. That could be a gap, to be honest. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure. So, on the other side... Uh, okay, never mind. There, there's the nuke! <laughs> There's the nuke again! Are you insinuating, Mousy, that it's not gonna be a nuke? <laughs> Amateur. Alright. Oh my god, that's a lot of ghosts. That's a lot of ghosts. Okay, remember 
remember that they can EMP the queens as well. They can actually EMP the queens and it could be... Uh, there's a spore as well, but they could snipe the queens, EMP the queens. Um, they could go for the snipe on overseers and whatnot. And there's the first nuke. Oh, does Kurtipir see this? Okay, he sees this, he sees this, he sees this. Okay, ooh. Oh, it's out of vision, it's out of vision. Oh no, it's gonna be a nuke. The hatchery is nuked. It's getting nuked, but the links are going to find it. Beautifully done there by Kurtipir, just going for that lair just in time. Bailing Nest is coming up. Uh, so I guess you want to snipe the ghosts. Uh, the problem is for Kurtipir, it's going to be a bit of an interesting uh, situation. Ooh, snipes the overseer. Oh my god, okay, Kuritabir needs a, a new Overseer really, really fast. Beautiful snipes here on those roaches, and now the links are being taken down super, super fast. One more snipe, but there is some uh, vision there because of that spore. Now, Kuritabir needs to morph multiple Overseers. Okay, morphs two. And we finally have the third base uh, coming down on the Zerg side as well. Um, not to, okay, forgot to set the rally point, uh, happens to the best. And we have some oversaturation here in the main base. And we have a fusion core. Already done. Okay. Uh, triple starport battle cruiser. Uh, off of two bases. Hello? Uh, with the ghost opener? No way, right? There's no way. There, there's just no way. With the nuke as well. Single battle cruiser being started. Of course, because there's only a single starport with tech lab attached. Um... This is one of the more interesting games that I casted on Spectrum Series Season 3, so... Um, definitely there have been odd games. And there's been like interesting or super clean macro games and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what to assume here. I mean, you cannot possibly afford uh, the battle cruisers, right? Well... No, no, you, can, you cannot afford like three at a time. Definitely not three. Like, there's no way, right? There's no freaking shot. Okay, armory as well coming down. Okay, no, no, no. You you have no gas income for this. You need a third command center, maybe even a fourth, uh, like two at a time. And just keep producing something that is not gas heavy, uh, aka marines. Oh, cancels a snipe, beautifully done. Oh, oh, barely saves that one ghost. That one ghost was super, super low, and it's going to teleport in with the Battlecruiser. And Kuretapir is not ready with the Spire, but the Spire was the good anticipation. That is a Kuretapir special as well. Uh, Yamato is not quite done, but it's going to be done in just a couple of seconds, I assume. Um, not sure on the timing of Yamato. Never actually bothered with it. Let's see. Beautiful transfuse on the side of Kuretapir. And that's only two queens. Is there a queen? There is a queen in the main base. He needs to produce queens. Uh, now Corruptors are on the way, Kuritabir has the money for it, has 11 larva, but he is quite supply block, um, now a bit of on supply block. Uh, obviously this will cut into the production of drones of the Zerg, uh, Kuritabir needs to transfuse this, never mind, the Barrack Cruiser is going to fall. Now two BCs are in production, but there's a massive supply block, actually you can afford three BCs on two bases, what the hell? What in God's name? Oh my god! The moment when you macro so badly that you can afford everything that you want. Uh, obviously the, the ghost opener was super annoying. Oh, but the ghost is left behind! The ghost is left behind! Now the pressure is off of Kuritapir. Where is that single ghost? I'm trying to look for that ghost. Okay, it's in the, in the corner. We have no new nuke. But oh, it's on the way! It's on the way. Okay, uh, ship weapons on the way as well. Uh, guys, I'm, I'm excited. You got to understand that I'm excited. Look at that. Double command center. Just what I was uh, suggesting here. Uh, the guys have played Ripley, but they are listening to me. Or I'm just uh, I'm just a specialist when it comes to low-level games. I don't know. Um, could be both. Okay, Nuke is ready. Now, this ghost will should not be able to, to walk in freely, right? Okay, one more battle cruiser is going to go down. Oh my goodness. Is Kuritabir aware of this? Oh, no, no, he's not. And he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, he sees He sees the red dot. He sees the red dot. He sees the red dot. It's not there. Okay, pulls the drones away. Beautifully done. All right, that's not the end of the world. Ooh, now he sees the ghost. Now he should see the ghost. There we go. He's going to see it. And let's see. One Ling is going to scout. 
um, the potential third base of, of the Terran. And this Overload will be aware of the fourth, that's for sure. Now, two more battle cruisers are in production. How many? Okay, two. And two went down. All right, so Ghost Mine Battle Cruiser. Um, not a composition that I've been expecting to cast today, but it is what it is. Um, not everyone gets what they want. <laughs> Obviously. Oh my god, some some uh, Lingron by just trying to deny as much as possible from the Terran. Oh, beautifully, beautifully done there by... By Kurti, we're just soaking it up with the Corruptors. The Corruptors are quite tanky. Now, the Derby's has to be um, put back uh, into its place. But three Power Cruisers are wrecking havoc, and there's no Spire anymore. There is no Spire. Kurti needs to realize that the Spire has gone down. Plus two uh, is on the way for Malay, so that's going to be really, really good. Uh, links with uh, Ling Run Buys and, and uh, Bane Run Buys are going to be super, super useful. The problem is, if the lair goes down, it's going to be really, really tough. Now, Kurtipir has to bring back everything to deal with these. And beautifully done with uh, one battle cruiser. Oh, beautifully pulling back the other uh, damage corruptor. On the other side, though, we have a couple of uh, of drones falling, I guess, as well as the queen. Oh, and maybe the... Oh, the spore doesn't get it. Okay, one corruptor will be uh, enough to deal with this. How many BCs? Six BCs have went down that God, so much for the Terran. So, so, so much. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, he has to, he has to uh, chase away those changelings. That is quite interesting. Fourth command center should go out. Let's see where it goes. Goes? Oh my god. Oh no, no, no. Please don't tell me this is going to be like Turtle Terran. Um, this might just be Turtle Terran, honestly. Oh, what? It's just a couple of links. Never mind, I guess you expect the Corruptors as well. Now, this is really, really odd. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, the Overseer. Okay, never mind. But are there any ghosts? There's a single battle cruiser here on the terror side. Oh, just teleports away. Where did it teleport? It teleported into the main base and... Oh my god, two mules are being dropped here. We have a battle cruiser specialist, but one of the mules is not preparing. Kurtipio just uh, pulls back all the Corruptors. That is not the correct call, I think. I, I think you should deal with this with, with queens, but you only have a single queen. That is not great. Oh my god, this is a low economy uh, game over here. Now, 4th Command Center is going to float out. Kurtipio is in deep trouble. He has the money. He has... Uh, no larva actually uh which is quite uh an issue now it tries to produce a couple of drones and some corruptors as well so spire has been remade okay in the back of the natural beautifully done there kurt appear should be able to see that there is a fourth command center being lifted out but none of the players have enough for or not even three base saturation so uh, look at that. These bases are so undersaturated. And Kurtipir needs to take gases because uh, soon enough he's going to need all the gases possible. Um, now, this is really, really nicely done there by Kurtipir. Oh, one of the Corruptors is going to go down probably. Never mind, he canceled the Yamato by killing the battle cruiser. And now the BCs have teleported to Kurtipir's uh, third base. There's three spores. One of them is going to fall. And the Corruptors are marching back once again. He needs enough uh, Corruptors to just one-shot all the all the BCs, I guess. Uh, beautifully done here by Kuretapir. And is going to get rid of those BCs. Now the, produ uh, the production... Oh my god, look at that. We have Stim on the way. We have Plating for, for the vehicles. So, uh, tanky battle cruisers, I guess. Or maybe the Medivacs. Planetary on the third with a bunch of mules mining over here. It's quite odd. Oh, and we have... Oh, my God. We have no... Um, we have no add-ons on these... Uh, <laughs> on these barracks. So, that's why it's uh, six Marines at the time. Because <laughs> there's six barracks, but no add-ons. Oh, my God. This is an odd game, to be honest. But I enjoy it so much, to be fair. Uh, ooh, maybe you could pee. No. Oh, loses a Corruptor to the turret. So... What is the next play for, for both of these players? Now, obviously, you could just swap out uh, stuff, but Corruptors should be dead supply at this point. Um, no need for more Corruptors. And look at that. Bailings are in production as well. And Burrow. Is that Burrow accidental? Okay, you know you've seen it all when uh, High Sakaro tracking and the 
Neo steel plating uh, gets priority over 1 1 for the Marines. But second eBay is on the way, so I guess those are that's gonna research the the, the one one. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! Okay, wait, there's triple engineering bay. What? Triple eBay? Okay, interesting. Never saw that one before. Uh, and there's oh my goodness, forty six marines constantly producing from these. <laughs> oh look at that. Uh, that's a beautiful production tab, I suppose. Uh, six marines at the time, but imagine if these Raxes had add-ons like reactors. Imagine if these Raxes were uh, reactor barracks, all of them. Now, credit pair double expanding is actually a good call here. Now they're turning us on three bases and barely, barely mining. Oh no, there's a lot of SCVs uh, just idling here. Gotta find that idle worker key, and the natural is not saturated either, so. That is quite uh, some quite some problem uh, for Serene. Serene, sorry. I, I keep mispronouncing it, mispronouncing it. And, ooh, Doom Drop, actually. Doom Drop action. Let's go. And a lot of, ooh, even in the front. Like, let's go. This is a proper plan. Oh, my goodness. The bailing connections are huge. Oh, my lord. That was insane. I don't know where the Terry was looking at that moment, but... It was insane! Let's see if there's gonna be some splits at this point. I think Eritipir should just go and uh, try his best to to kill these Marines, I, I guess. With the Corruptors as well. Like, if you just go with the Corruptors, uh, the Medivax cannot pick up because they will basically lose their lives instantly. And what is Eritipir doing? Oh! Stamping the incoming Medivax. That is a brilliant strategy. And now just a couple of Medivax remaining. And now maybe where's the Bailings? Where the, where's the Bailings and the Links? Bailings and links are not moving together. This is a moment where you should F2 actually. Okay, now Karatabir should be able to surround this whole thing. Oh, beautiful connections once again. Karatabir with the huge connections and GG is the call. What an ending to this odd game of StarCraft 2. ZVT at its finest. Wow, Karatabir, huge props my man. You, you always uh, get into these is super... Super weird but exciting games. Ah, oh, that was insane. Thank you so much, Gertrude, for sending this replay. I enjoyed casting this one. And if you liked it as well, be sure to hit that sub button, maybe like the video and share it with your friends. And of course, leave a comment if you want to see more of Gertrude Pierre's adventures. And yeah, uh, shout out to CS3 Esports, where we're both from, basically. Best team in the world. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.